Hey there YouTube, what's up? Welcome to episode 3. This time we're talking about parental controls or ways of avoiding people snooping into your business. This video is designed for people that will lend this phone to a friend and they don't want them to see any of their account details, browsing history, things like that. Or you're just planning on giving this phone to your child and maybe you don't want him to to access any of your private information, let's say. First, we need to go into settings, of course. Then we need to scroll a bit down until we see user and accounts. Pressing there and going to users here. Okay, you see, for the moment, I'm the owner here, of course. And let's, let's add a guest, add. It asks me to switch if I want to switch. So let's do that and see what happens. Okay, welcome to the other side. We're a guest here on the phone, as you can see on the top part. It says here, guest. Okay. And um, when it entered into the guest mode, it didn't even take into account my old uh, PIN for the, for the owner. Because I had a PIN, but it didn't ask me to, to put in the PIN. And as you can see, the phone is freed by all the application I had on, on the owner. So it's almost like I have a new phone. For example, if you go into gallery, you won't see any photo. Just to showcase that, we can go into settings. You don't have the, the Huawei ID here. So you will need to, to put one if you want. And if we go into storage here, you see, there are no images, videos, audio, documents, etc. And as a bonus, so, if I were to call somebody right now, it doesn't work. It says to contact the owner. Once back in the owner, as you can see here on the, on the upper side, I can share with you a different tip. For this one, we would need to go to be already in, in settings here and into digital balance okay. and screen time management. We need to turn this on and you will see two options here. This is my phone or this is my child's phone. So this comes in handy because if you want to lend this phone or give it to your child, you can tap on it and they won't be able to do a couple of things, for example, to change the PIN or to switch accounts or to modify the system time, things like that. Next. The PIN is used to approve screen time extensions and change screen time management. Okay, so let's do whatever. A security question. The cool thing is that you can also limit the time. Okay. Next, you can set the phone to the screen turns gray and apps can be opened after bedtime. Start. Let's say I will put the bedtime at 8.31. Now it's 8.30. Okay. We can block apps or gray the screen. Let's do them both. App limit. Oh my god, this is so nice. Now... It's basically telling me it's time to go to bed. So I don't have any access except the settings. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, so if I want to go back. It's been all fun and games, but I really want to remove this feature. So go on a screen time management, turn off, disable, inserting the pin, and voila. <laughs> For a moment I got a bit uh, panicky and I thought I lost authorization over that and I thought I had to, to wait for the bedtime to be over. So yeah, there you have it. A couple of tips for protecting your phone from your child or from a nosy friend. I really hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more and thank you so much for watching.